Hello and welcome to my F1 manager career mode here for the British Grand Prix. It's been a very long time since the last episode in Canada but we are back now and hopefully a bit more consistent with it. We come into qualifying then at the, towards the end of Q1 and Lewis has set an OK lap time and George is on a lap now. That will hopefully put him a lot higher than Lewis, I think he did have a bit of traffic on his first lap but as George crosses the line that will put him into P3 for the end of Q1 and Lewis in the drop zone we don't really want him there at his home Grand Prix so if we can do so we can try and get him into Q2 but we have sent him out at a terrible time because everyone is warming up their tyres to do their lap and he keeps backing off, he's nowhere near the arse and he's backed off and now he's being held up by Williams as he goes down the hangar straight now and there's more traffic, there's the other Williams he was up in the first sector, he is down in the middle sector and now he's being held up massively by the McLaren and the other McLaren now is going to have to race through the Vale chicane and this is going to be a terrible lap for him and we only told him to do one so Lewis Hamilton that lap is only going to put him P11 but he's definitely lost a lot of time as now rounds the final corner this is Joe across the line and gets himself out of the top 10 ahead, ahead of Hamilton as there is there is Leclerc He's purple purple and now out of the drop zone and Lewis is on the bubble. Can Vettel improve? Please say he doesn't. He crosses the line. He doesn't improve. Thank God. And now he gives the McLaren. Hamilton's still on the bubble. Can Ricardo get through? Yes he can. And Lewis Hamilton is out of qualifying. At his home Grand Prix. We have been an absolutely terrible manager there and Lewis is going to have to have the race of his life to get himself back in back into it for the race tomorrow as now we just need to concentrate on the one car with George and George comes up to the line and gets himself into the top 10 fairly comfortably and Magnussen, Ricardo, Sinoda have fallen now though, Q3, the business end of qualifying and it's Alonso who is fastest, he's set the fastest time and now George will be the next car to cross the line, he's only personal best though and he is slower than Alonso, that's not very good, here is Max, rounds the final corner, he's only setting personal best times but it's enough to put him on provisional pole, here is the Ferrari now off sight, up to the line and it's only good enough for B2 here comes Leclerc though purple in the middle sector purple in the final sector but it's only good enough for P3 Perez though has gone fastest you know towards the end of the session this is Alonso can he improve in his Alpine he rounds the final corner he was down in the first sector and he moves himself up into P5 here comes Leclerc now can he get on pole? Up to the line. Of course he can. Pole position for Leclerc. Sainz can only manage P2. And Max has been held up by the other Alpine. Coming out to the final corner. He will start P4. George will start P6. He's been beaten by Gasly at the death of, of qualifying. And now this is the strategy for the race. We're going to make Lewis go very, very long on the hard tyres. And for George, we're going to try a two-stop strategy. But depending on how well he does on the mediums, it might well become a one-stop. But we'll see what happens. There's a long race ahead. So let's go to the race. It's sunny and bright as the drivers line up on the grid. And here we have George Russell. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalise on it? Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. 
slower than most yesterday, so today they'll be starting from the bottom half of the grid. Will their hard work pay off today? Hold on tight, it's the British Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. So if Crafty said it's lights out and away we go in the two, Ferraris are pretty even at the front. Leclerc though, oh he chops off his teammate going into turn one. And now as they all flip free round the farm guard, George needs to get Gasly up the line for it. This would be very good if he can get ahead of Gasly. He's on the outside, going out of the loop, and he's slammed on his brakes. What is he doing? It's a straight, George. You don't just anchor up on the edge of a corner like that. He's lost out to Alonso now, when potentially he could have just kept his foot in and get Gazi around the outside. And now Alonso and Gazi, he really, really needs to clear these as quickly as he can. But there's a massive gap to the inside and he's just sat there. Come on. There's a dive bomb there. You could have done that fairly easy. But we really need him to get ahead of these. But in the meantime, Lewis Hamilton absolutely flying in the early stages on these hard tyres. But he is around slower cars. But he's going to do one of the best moves of all time. Side by side. Three Magnus and Beckers. Ray overtakes his former championship awesome. rival, Sebastian Vettel. And now, can Vettel have a go back at him, but he's just too far back, and that Aston Martin doesn't have the straight line speed. And now, this is George, kind of falling back a bit into Bottas, we've had enough of Bottas in this career mode, as this is Gasly coming under pressure by Alonso, and Alonso is through and now George can he have a go on Gasly he doesn't know where to go and is he going right is he going left he's going to go left now he's going to go right in the last second but he pinched himself at the inside of Cops and he's backed out of it again he just doesn't want to overtake Gasly does he and now this is Gasly going back at Alonso into Stowe and Gasly gets the job done and this is losing George so much time and it's very painful to watch in these early stages. And he's still... Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this. As this is Lewis coming round the final couple of corners round Snow. He's going to send it right round the outside of Sinoda. That's a great move. And now further down the lap, down the Wellington Straight. He's going to go clean round the outside of Joe. He is flying out there. Being spurred on by the crowd, cheering him every single inch of this Silverstone racetrack. George as well. You have overtaken. As he tries to get past Gasly now, George, can he finally do it? Bottas lingering though. As he's going to try and go to the outside, just like Hamilton did on the other Alpha Tauri of Sonoda, but George is too far back to complete that manoeuvre and Ocon and Bottas are now going wheel to wheel just behind us and I think Bottas has just held on but George still just can't get close enough and Alonso and Gasly going at it again and Gasly re-overtakes Alonso Alonso they're going to come back up the inside and he backs out of it but has that now given us an opportunity for George to get through is he going to go for a they look up the inside of Cops now. Come on, George. This is painful now. You've got Lewis absolutely carving his way through. And you're just sat here behind Alonso. Those are ahead already getting away. But now, surely, there's an opportunity here. As Alonso thinks about sending it on Gasly. No, George. Just keep it pinned round the outside, mate. Honestly. He could be passed both of these so long ago but as said Lewis was carving his way through Joe's actually really overtaking him here so I don't know where that's come from but he looks like he may be trying to re overtake him now into Cops but the replay cut off there and here is then George we're only on lap 6 as Alonso has been mugged and surely yes Finally, 
He's got one of them. He's got Alonso. Now surely, please, George, don't make it painful to get Gasly as well. Uh, Hamilton has overtaken Joe. We can see it now, just like he did on Alonso, through Magus and Beckers and Chapel. And gets the job done going down that hangar straight. We're now back on board with George in to the loop. And round eight dream now. Can he get the exit to have a go up down the Wellington Strait and into Brooklyn? He's getting closer, George. We're gonna tell him to use the overtake. And is he gonna go for it? Round the outside of Brooklyn's. He then has the inside line for Luffield. Go on, George. Force him wide, force him wide, force him wide. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. But Gasly's still there. And it's seven laps over due. But finally, George, he is past Gasly and Fernando Alonso. Just stay there now, please. And let's see if we have the pace to get after these up front who are battling for Verstappen. Going wheel to wheel with the two Ferraris. Has spun himself round at the Vale chicane. Poor from him. And George, in the meantime, has pulled himself a nice little gap. Just about yellow, yellow. to Gazi behind those yellow yeah, flags, and that is because Magnussen the in the Haas came around the loop as a looped and around and spun. But now Gazi, on just a couple of laps later, finds himself close enough to have a little look at the inside of George, but he's not quite close enough. But George has gone very wide at Luffield. Gasly was very much up the inside there, but backs out of it. Thank God. Through now, Max and Beck is going to skip on a little bit. And Gasly, I don't know what's happened there, but he has just been absolutely sent around the outside by Alonso. And Gasly now, does he have some kind of issue or something for us? He's tired to hit the cliff because he has dropped miles back from Alonso and now under pressure by Bottas. No, this is Bottas, and he's actually lost out now. Gasly has two, Ocon and Bottas. So, don't know what's happened there to Gasly. But now, we're telling George to calm it down a little bit, but he can't really calm down when there's a Fernando Alonso breathing down your neck. We're not that far off of a Verstappen. Now After his this. spin. This is Lewis, though. He's finally broken away from Joe behind and he's going through Stowe now and that's a McLaren going very very wide at Stowe and that's it's a very easy move for him even if Crofty makes that sound like the greatest move of all time but these hard tyres now the mediums look to be starting to go off and these hard tyres are within their prime apparently as he steamrolls the Haas and now is on the back of Daniel Ricciardo who cost him his quali qualifying lap yesterday and he is past the Australian going into the Vale chicane and now can he get after Gasly he's really got himself back into this race and is now inside the top 10 where we could relax for a little while but Alonso eventually has got George down the inside into Brooklyn's but George is trying to keep it pinned but he did lose out and this is Ricardo though coming back at Hamilton round the outside at Brooklyn's that's not what I wanted because this is a lot so rare we're taking George George did get free and now this is Hamilton re-overtaking Ricardo it was only a matter of time before hopefully he got him back and he has got him back. And at this stage of the Grand Prix, the long wave took George and George did start to drop back a little bit. But as we skip on now a couple of laps, everything calmed down for a little while. But Ricardo once again overtook um, Hamilton and Hamilton to re overtake him and Ricardo has been done there by a little thing around the outside by Mick Schumacher 
and now those medium tyres have had a second spurt for George as he has got back on the back of Alonso and we're telling Lewis to push now on his hard tyres to get away from Ricardo. This is George really overtaking this the Spanish driver into Brooklyn, so many overtaking takes going on there and hopefully now he can stay ahead but Ricardo really overtook Schumacher and he's going back at Lewis here, come on Lewis will we have the pace advantage over this McLaren please come on sort it out but he is through once again on Ricardo and this is the Alpine of Alonso re overtaking George. This is a hell of a battle between these two. But very, very annoying for us because we just just want to leave George to it and help Lewis out. And Alonso now really has at this stage of Grand Prix pitted. So we miss where Alonso boxed, but he has boxed Alonso on lap 18 box, box, box. and we are going to tell George to pit one lap later yes, to go into the hard tyres out of the pits come George through the picture goes Alonso where is George he is in front of Alonso that's a great call on strategy the overcut has worked and now this is a Red Bull who has pitted and Hamilton has overtaken him and now this is Alonso back on the back. It was only going to be a matter of time before he came back at George. And now to the inside he goes and passes. Oh, Mercedes once again. But to the inside is George going to go for it? No, of course not, because that would be too sensible to do. That's a good overtake from Alpine. And Alonso back ahead. Overtake. But we're going to tell George to use overtake. And back around the outside. He re overtakes Alonso. Good lad. But further around the lap. Alonso has him back. This is a very, very interesting battle. Indeed, I don't really. This is. Uh, once again. George having Alonso back. This is an unbelievable battle. As we see here, uh, something's happened to Alonso, and I don't know what. I think he spun or something, and I missed it. But he just suddenly dropped from the back of, from in front of George, to behind um, Joe, somehow, and I don't really know how. Which is great because it means he's left. George alone, even if it is for a little while, but lap 30 we are on now, and Lewis's hard tyres are still doing wonders, he's on the back of Verstappen, who's pitted by the way, and he's keeping up with his pace on his 30 lap old hard tyres, and since the fastest lap of the race as well. He has done wonders with these hard tyres and he will pit at the end of this lap. And he's also set the fast lap again whilst entering the pit lane. That might be a bit controversial that one, but he will take it through those onwards and he is going to come out behind George and behind Alonso. But he's got 20 laps to absolutely floor it on these medium compound tyres and the strategy we have done in this race he has been able to go so far on those hard tyres and I did not expect him to go that far Charge the pack. and here he goes on Alonso to the inside at Cops he has passed Alonso and is through but Alonso is going to have him back going down the hangar straight and Alonso is through but Hamilton's going to have him back this is vintage Hamilton 
I know lot, so this is where everyone's come to Silver Center to see. The power from Lewis win the Grand Prix. Don't think that's happening today. But he is through. And in the background, Alonso is making another stop to pit. And go on to another go on to the medium tires. What is Alpine doing? They've just thrown away a pretty a very good result potentially for them. And he's come out P12 and now has a big job on his hands. In the last, what's that, 12, 15 laps of the Grand Prix. And on cold tyres, he is about to be eaten up by the horse of Magnussen in Silverclays. And his job done and he has to realistically clear him again as quickly as possible. They're side by side, but Gasly, but Magnussen stays ahead. And now, Lewis has had the pace, he has caught George up very, very quickly. George, okay, we did tell him to push a little bit, but he hasn't been able to look after these hards like Lewis has. So we're going to tell Lewis to be let through by George. George, I don't know what he was doing on the exit of Luffield, just absolutely parked it like he did at the start of the Grand Prix but we are going to skip on and here is the leader and this is what has happened to Gasly and he has caught George and has overtaken him George's hard tyres he's just hit the cliff now and he's just going further and further back hasn't got the pace but he is going to overtake Gasly back. He's still got some pace on those hard tyres. He hasn't. He hasn't been able to do what. What Lewis did on the hard tyres. Sainz is going to win the British Grand Prix just like he did in the real Grand Prix, and it's going to be a one-two with Leclerc second, Perez third. Verstappen is going to hold on for P4 after that spin, but now. Who is going to finish P6 as Gasly is going for it into the inside of Stowe. George holds the line, go on George, keep it pinned lad. Round the outside he has. Lewis has had an unbelievable race to finish P5. George is going to hang on though for P6 and I'll make that an okay. British Grand Prix. But now this is Sonoda further back coming into the, the veil chicane, he's locked up, he's locked up and he's gone through the gravel at the last act of the Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton did okay here today. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. They've displayed some moments of quality here. All they need now is some fine tuning to achieve great things. That's right, and they finish the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. Next time, the teams will be forging ahead at full throttle through the Styrian Forest. The Austrian Grand Prix is right around the corner. So to win them for Carlos Sainz and a Ferrari 1-2 and a Red Bull 3-4 and a Mercedes 5-6. Lewis Hamilton gaining 11 places. What a drive. That is, that's a champion's drive. If, if it was for the win, it would have been even better. But what a race from him. Those hard tyres, he went so, so, so far on. I don't think anyone can question that one. That was brilliant by him. Alonso, I don't really know what Albion were thinking. He could have been so much better off in that race. Then the two stop didn't work. So luckily we kept George out there and it kind of did pay off in the end. He'd probably be annoyed that he was beaten by his teammate. Leclerc, they still leads the championship and Sainz is now second, but a little bit closer after that result. Hamilton, great recovery drive. 
George P7 is still being split by Bottas. Gasly picks up some points as well. Alonso picks up two, but it could have been so much more today. And the final point then being picked up by Daniel Ricciardo comes in P12. And now for the constructors, it's maximum points for Ferrari. They extend their lead in the championships. Red Bull only picking up 27 points. We only get 18 points, but we are starting to really pull away now from Alfa Romeo after it was a bit touch and go in the early stages of the season. Hope you enjoyed that video, bit of a long one, hope you are glad F1 manager is back. The F1 22 career mode will be continuing, I at least want to finish one season of this. But I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and stick around for more F1 manager, goodbye.